Oh, so welcome back to another episode and this is my NES collection, my boxed NES collection and it's it's not massive, but it's my NES collection. Not bad. It's not bad, it's fine. And what we thought we'd do today is just kind of talk about some of these games. I'll just pick one out, talk about some memories of them and kind of go through it and why why we can why I own most of these games. Ninja Turtles. I mean, where, how can you not have Ninja Turtles on the NES? It yeah. was it was a phenom when the cartoon came out, although we've already talked about how shocked we were how it wasn't. This, by the way, the this artwork. is what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, that's what the original Turtles look like. They don't have pupils. <laughs> and know? they don't have multicolored headbands and say, DUDE! Yeah, they, yeah. There was a lot, of, I remember the original Ninja Turtles was a darker uh, kind of comic book. Very gritty. That I got into, I think, oh jeez. Uh, 1985 I got into that. Really strange, but what a classic, fantastic uh, game. What a frustrating game. <laughs> if I see Pink Seaweed one more time in my life, I swear I'm gonna punch somebody. That stuff is crazy. Uh, <laughs> hey, let's go to a nice, this is a really nice game. No. I love Chippendales. Not one that I played when I was a kid. What? I never played that one as a kid. It's amazing, I know. Isn't that mind-blowing? It's a Capcom game and everything. I, honestly, you know, what was great about this game at the time, the control was good, the levels were good. It was like a, a Mega Man game, in, in a sense well, of the way. You know, it, the good it, controls and good level design. It's classic it was, Capcom, right? Yeah, it really was, and catchy-ass motherfucking music. Very good stuff. Very good. Wow, I can't believe yeah. you played that. A little bit shocking, eh? I, it is a bit shocking. No, I do have to. Oh, I love <laughs> this game. Now, I know the arcade version for the purest. I love the NES version. I played this again, Craig Hogan. Yeah. That guy had everything that I knew. I played this. He does. I played it at my house. I love the music from this. I had it in my top ten level one music. You know, you and, have to agree with that. And I always remembered when you when you hit the bag, it's that doo 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 doo, 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 doo noise doo, yeah, when the yeah. yo yo disc armor hit them. Yeah. I did once, and it was uh, I don't know one day when you and I weren't hanging out, but around the time that we did. Yeah. I sat down one morning and I was like, that's it. And I put it in the nest, and I went all the way through it from start to finish. And I've only ever done it the once, and I doubt I'll ever be able to do it again. But it was amazing. One of my friends did that was uh, Kid Icarus. Back, back. Remember Andrew? I did yeah. that too once. Yeah. You guys are crazy. I could never finish Kid Icarus. It was so tough. And no, this is the messed up part. Is I actually did it without dying. Uh -oh. Because when you died, you got game over, and I yeah, didn't get a yeah, game yeah. over once. I didn't have to continue once. Again, it'll never happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Up next, uh, oh, Ho Hogan's oh, Alley, classic. and the re the reason why I like this, I'm very nostalgic. When I my father first bought me my NES, it came with Hogan's Alley. I didn't get the Super Mario one, uh, type of thing. Oh, so I got Hogan's Alley, and I like I, I obviously got my money's worth out of it. That those few the first few nights, and then you're like, okay, you uh, come to the end uh, of that. I've had enough of shooting it. <laughs> but it was great for the first three nights. Uh, really good stuff. Oh, jeez. How do you not? Oh, I don't know. Do I don't you... know if I like this too much. Now. Yeah, this is a great game. Jumping around in that little green shoe, who, who liked doing that? Nobody would like doing that. This is the, I'd say this is probably one of the best NES games that was ever released. Yes, and it's definitely one of my favorites of the Mario series, if not the top. I can still pick this up and play this now, and it's still that good. This one and Super Mario World are my two favorites. Yeah, it's wonderful stuff. I yeah. Back in the day, I'll save the story for another time, I, I imported this. The Japanese. Oh, the, I've got a story about someone who did that too. Yeah, we'll so. do that. Save that for another Let's episode for that, sure. Yeah. We'll save some of this stuff. I Next know. up, how do you pronounce this, Rob? Faxanadu. Faxanadu is how I pronounce it. Yes. It's probably not how it's properly pronounced. Yeah. But I pronounce it Faxanadu. How is it properly pronounced? Faxanadu is how I pronounce it. I have no idea how it's properly pronounced. I thought it was played like it was now, Xanadu. Xanadu was the series of PC games that this was based off of. Yeah. And this was just one that got randomly ported to the NES, which is probably why it was so damn confusing and hard to figure out. Yeah. But I rented it so many times, trying so hard to get out of it what I could, and in the end of the day, I still just kept going, I don't know. Guy, guys in the comments below, does this, is, is this how you pronounce it, Faxanadu? I thought it was something else. Like... Or is it Fazanadu? Fazanadu. Yeah. Xanadu, you know, <laughs> now we are here. <laughs> this is an old 70s movie he's singing. But but this game, I, I love the adventure 
idea of it. I love the box. I loved yeah. reading about it in magazines. But I, I, I played it once and I got very frustrated. Yes, that's what happened to me regularly. Yeah. Now, the, the, these two can sort of go in yeah. one straight go. And let's be honest, I mean, if you don't know about the frustration and exhilaration of Ninja Gaiden, you're watching the wrong channel. So we'll yeah. but, uh, but hey, you know, <laughs> what got me into Ninja Gaiden uh, a lot was my friend. Uh, his his name was Neil. Schneel. Okay. Yeah, but he was, such, he was so good at playing Shinobi, uh, the arcade game, he could finish it on one quarter, which is unbelievable. Oh. Well, okay? he was obsessed with, with ninjas. Yes. So we call them Schneel, Shinobi uh, Neil, back. Yeah. We're talking like 1989, 88, 89, yeah. type of thing. That's where he came up with his name. But he really got me into ninjas. And the funny thing with Schneel, he really got into the ninja thing. So much A so. little too much at a one little, point. A little bit. He had this obsession where he wanted to get into the newspapers. He had a full ninja costume, okay? He probably got one of those back in one of those old ninja magazines that they used to sell. A mail order stores. send away for your ninja outfit. Yeah, and he has, and he he was obsessed with stealth and all this. And what he was, what he, what, this is so fucking stupid. He was going into people's backyards, sneaking in, not doing anything terrible, rearranging their plants and uh, their backyard setups and things all stealth like it's but, almost like kind of scary and didn't he didn't that. he have the katana and he was cutting off branches from trees and running in there and writing messages on their lawn yeah bizarre like yeah we we i haven't talked to him in many years he did get in the newspaper though he, yeah he did get in this is this is some shadowy man or scene <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's creepy oh here's one do you, do you have any history with this for yourself you no? know what i let me take a look at the back because yeah. i want to see if this is no. what i think it is <sighs> There's two players, too. No. One that looks similar that was on all those 32 and one game cartridges, yeah. but not this one. This is this is a game I've always been interested in. I, I picked it up at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo for like $10. Oh, Boxed. steal. It really was. And I saw this in video game magazines back then, and I, I love the kung fu-iness yes. of it, and that you could play with a friend, and I, I thought that would be the most amazing adventure and I still haven't played it. So maybe one day we'll play this, check it out. Yeah, man. Out. That'd For be awesome. Sure. That'd be fun. Oh, I've never heard of this fucking game. What, Doki this? Doki Panic? Yeah. <laughs> Super Mario yeah, you, uh, yeah, USA, as it was called in Japan. It, it would have been impressive for me to say that if the entire internet didn't already know it was Doki yeah, Doki yeah, Panic. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. Uh, no, Mario 2 in North America, Super Mario USA in Japan. And yeah. when it came out, I, that, the year it came out was the year I got my NES for Christmas. I, mine, when I got this game was 1988, I pretty much. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's what I remember. I, yeah. I got this and Metroid with my NES yeah, that Christmas. Cool. It was amazing. But that game. This game was so, so good. So good, so hard, so nostalgic. I've only ever beat Warp once. Oh, I, I do you know, but he choked on that fucking turnip. <laughs> I finished this game multiple times. <laughs> and I remember, I remember, no, it sounds funny. You get to the ending back then, and that was like a big deal. Yeah, you know, it's not a spoiler I, now. I always get Mario, to the, we were like dreamt all this. We were in a Mario dream. I, I, yeah. I always get to that last world with the clouds, and yeah. then it just, it just spanks me like a redheaded stepchild. Yeah. It just beats me. It's yeah. horrible. But, oh. you know. Come on. I've Come never on. heard of this game before. No. Down in Reno, when it first came out in the 1990, was it, I think it was 1990, uh, maybe not even 91. I, yeah, but I, I picked this up down there, and I we drove to Reno, which is a long drive. Mm -hmm. So all the way back, I was reading and opening the maps, and I was I was really excited because Fantasy Star was out in the Master System, which looked unbelievable. Yeah. The closest thing we had on a console RPG back then was Dragon Warrior One, which was great. Don't get us wrong. It was it was it was okay, good. Yeah, but it was no fantasy to motherfucking star. Uh, but this, this was like, yes, I have an RPG on the NES that matches or is in the same zone as Fantasy Star. Yep. And I brought it home that summer and it was beautiful outside like usual. And I'm inside <laughs> and I'll never forget the music and playing this game. And it was, I, I, this is the first time I'd seen side view combat like that. It was awesome. And you pick which guy went, you know. Yeah, obviously, like turn based, but it was cool to see the side view turn based. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. Oh, what's this game? Oh, this is actually, I think this is my old damaged copy. Now, this. I have a, I have a nicer copy of this. 
I rented this several times before I owned an NES. I got it for Easter one year, actually, in my Easter basket. What a nice oh, Easter buddy! How lucky was that? <laughs> but I love this game. I know people hate on it, but you know what? It may not have felt like the rest of the Zelda series. I love that I game. still loved it. I love the, the, the town music. Oh, I do, can I say that the, the music is kind of eerie. It is. It has a creepy yeah, quality to it. Yeah, I, I like that about... Uh, uh, to, yeah, I love that I'm you could sure. talk to all the people and the lady that's like, come inside my house and relax, and your house starts filling up. I was out there having sex. Yeah. He was a kid. I was like, well, I you were having sex. sex. We Absolutely. mentioned that a long time ago. <laughs> well, yeah. if you ever want to have a good laugh, just uh, crouch. Yeah, we and take a look that. at the spray. Yeah. We mentioned that before. The Master Sword. Lame. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Lame. Here, I'm just going to bring up, Um, I bought this a while ago, um, Ultima Exodus, that I would have really enjoyed this game back in the NES, but I never f saw it anywhere. It just, I just never, isn't it funny back then there was no Amazon. So there was, you know, like there was no like big video game chain store. So either you saw it at your local grocery store or a computer store or you didn't yeah. get it. And I didn't get this. And I, and I just got it for, I'm trying to collect all the RPGs on the NES. Uh, maybe one day I'll, I'll finish that, but that's kind of cool. Fair enough. I, and in the same kind of zone, another one I haven't, uh, uh, I don't remember playing that This is kind of expensive. All, this is kind of expensive. It goes for about 50 to 70 bucks on uh, <laughs> eBay. But, uh, I love box games. I love having yeah. the box. And I'm not, anybody I, wants to collect cartridges out there? Yeah. Hey, go for it. Enjoy. But I, I'm, I like, I'm a box I like the art. Now. I yeah. like the fucking art. And it's expensive. Yes. But most oh, of these, fuck. a lot of games here I've gotten for, Fairly reasonable prices. I, I don't go for any of these high end. No, I like, markets. but I do like to collect only boxed and complete these days. Really. Yeah, I, you yeah. Know, I don't want to be I, a snob. Yeah, we're not snobs by any means, uh, other way. But we just like the oh, like this. I have to have the box. Of Star Trek. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it's beautiful. That Star uh, Trek. That reminds me of game. summer. I you have know, only just started playing it now. Uh, what? Recently, I started playing it. Really? I never played through this one either. Uh, very cool. It's really cool. very cool. Uh, I watched my friend Andrew play this. I love that game. That music. <laughs> Oh, oh, that takes me back to back to simpler times in my life. That's your oh, what's this game? Uh, I did a review on this one. You can check it out. It's uh, it's full of uh, awesome uh, sauce. It's amaze balls. It's one of the best games on the NES. And if you haven't played it, do yourself the favor. Go get it. You can get it complete on eBay for not much money. And it is they just made, they made a lot of awesome. made a lot of copies of it, didn't they? Yes. Very, that's Blaster Masters. Are so good. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's our our, our, our famous box art guy that we we, we love. Uh, he did oh. the box art for Strider. Uh, yeah, this is such a great game. I it, this controls really well. I enjoyed it back in the day a lot. It was good, so good different at, from the arcade experience, but in a good totally, way. I but in a good way. I didn't give a fuck. Because instead of them trying to force the NES to do the arcade game, which they knew they couldn't, yeah. they gave us a whole different experience. It was awesome in its own right. Yeah. Smart plan. Yeah. Love, love Strider. The music yeah. takes me back. All the music of these takes me back. Of course. Here's one I've always wanted to talk about. Oh. This is a great action RPG that not many so people good. know about by SNK. The guys who did the Neo Geo. Yep. And they did Crystallis. And it's, uh, you you wake up uh, hundreds of years later and... In yeah, the future. In the future, this yeah. Pod and yeah it's, it's, you lent this to me when we first started hanging out because I'd never heard of it. Yeah, I don't have a good box. I'd and like you to get a nice blew copy. me away with it. It's a really good game. Yeah. It's a really, and you can power up your sword and multiple yeah. levels of that. A really cool story. Great music. I got a little bit of an overworld. You go out and fight yeah. things. Yeah, I really recommend. Crystallis is a lost gem yeah. and a forgotten gem on the NES, so I recommend... That. A Bionic uh, motherfucking commando. Another one that Schneel had that I used to play over at his place a lot and I was so happy years later to, to get this. This is so full of... This is the beginnings of Capcom. This is what I enjoyed Capcom a lot. You know, the one the, the, the one time that I've actually finished it, I actually... Because you had to collect those little bullets to make your health bar get longer. Yeah. I managed to fill out the, the health bar as far as it would go on the first level. I was that, I, I farmed bullets by running back and forth shooting bad guys until I had the full life bar and then went through the rest How of the game. How long did that fucking take? Many hours. I used to dedicate to things like that. Like even to this day when I played like Metroid, health farming was huge back then. People these days don't get it. You hide behind a rock and your health comes back and stuff like, you know, all these FPSs. Yeah. Back then, if you were out of health, you were the fuck out of health. So what you did, was you had to health farm. So in games yeah. like Metroid with respawning enemies, you those guys that come out of the pipe and fly at you, you'd shoot them, take the health pellet, shoot them, take, and you had to sit there until you got a full life bar if you wanted to beat that boss in the next room. That's how yeah. it was, man. So I did that with that yeah, one. There's nothing Very... like beating Hitler on a Sunday afternoon. 
<laughs> with a one chance, one shot, one pixel window to blow him in the face with a rocket launcher. Great stuff. Good times. Oh, don't we have some fun memories of this one? This is. Don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. At all. Uh, <laughs> wait, you want to tell the story? Or oh, the song story? You know, just this to the basics. This is this is before me and Robert were friends. We're hanging out. We're hanging when out. He was hanging out with my brother. I was hanging out with his brother, and I went over for a sleepover. And they rented, you guys rented a bunch of games. One of them was Karnov. Oh, yep. Like and Data East. And my brother knew a guy named Sung. Yeah. And he was this really tall, really kind of tall, wiry guy. And he always thought he was this big, buff, muscly guy. He's always like, you know, in the weight club in high school. And he's always like, look at my buff muscles. I'm so strong. And there were characters in this that run around in a little, like, <laughs> little, like, yeah. G-string. And they and they flex. And then they jump in the air. And they, when they jump, they're, like, flexing like this everywhere they go. <laughs> and freaking, we called them sons. Mm, yeah. And he got so mad. And he used to chase you around. And, you know, you had a really I, high I was laugh back then. <laughs> and he had a really deep... <laughs> <laughs> and all we could hear upstairs was thump 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 from downstairs, and then as he's trying to chase me to beat the hell out of me, <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't catch you. That's a that's a really old memory. That's a great. That's a, one, that's a really old memory. We're talking like 88, 89, yeah. uh, 89, I think. Yeah, and that was another one of those nights yeah. where when you woke up in the morning, there I was sitting there playing the game. And that was like, the that was when we first talked about video games, and that's yep. when you were playing Metroid, Metroid and yep. Ninja. Turtles was that's what, yeah, yeah, and we were right. very disappointed with the Ninja Turtles cartoon. It wasn't as but Metroid was great. Metroid was a good game, yes. Oh, here we go. Now, one of these exists and one of them does not. Goonies 2, Rob reviewed it. Wonderful, great oh. game. Semi based on the movie. <laughs> Loosely based on the movie. It had uh, the same characters in it. Yeah, it had the same characters in it. Uh, and Konami Man, who was totally in the movie. Yeah, well, totally. Fucking loved his part. Totally. He was bitching. But uh, here we go from Time Walk Games, uh, Goonies 1, which never, uh, I, I know there's a play choice everybody keeps talking about, yeah, I get it, but there was never an official NES box cartridge. release, and yes. so this is, I'm very happy to have this. I When I saw this, I'm like, Goonies, anything Goonies I go crazy much. about. You know, like I, I went down to Astoria where they filmed the Goonies, and I went to every single place that the movie was filmed and took my photos there. I, that's my much I remember. A, a just a little of, Goonies memory. Yeah. Do you remember when Charlie's Music used to be downtown? Yes. And there was oh, one yeah. day that I went down there, and you sent me down there to find a specific movie, Dune. Dune. You wanted me to find Dune on laser disc. They had. They used to have racks and racks of laser discs, and no one ever wanted to look at them, but we did. Yeah. And oh, he yeah. asked me to go down and find Dune because he thought he might have seen it there. And yeah. I went in, and I didn't find Dune. But I did find the Goonies, and I bought that and brought it back to him. And I tell you, I've never seen this guy's eyes light up. Like, he was just so excited. He was like, <gasps> the Goonies. We'll do an episode on Laserdiscs one day. And, and, and on my old gaming Kavorka, I used to have the most ridiculous luck. Before, before shit. eBay. Way Be before eBay. Even before thrift stores had really, you know, were yeah. really the place. Rob had this amazing uh, ability to find rare, amazing things. It was incredible, and I was very happy to know him for it. <laughs> you know, getting getting Goonies on Laserdisc back then was a big deal. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was really cool. So, all right, here we go. Well, let's do a four-pack here. Dragon Warrior. Dra Dragon, Dragon Warrior, Warrior upside two. down. Dragon Warrior 2. Uh, and then, yeah. And then Dragon Warrior 3, three. here. And, and four. four. Which I really, I love four. I gotta say that my favorites are Two, two and four. One is very nostalgic. Three is good, but four and two really did it for me. I really, I like those games. I had a, a good time playing them. It was good times. Yeah, great I RPG. Remember, Dragon Warrior was the only RPG that I had ever completed and that I'd ever played through uh, before I started hanging out with this guy. Yeah. He got, he gave me the RPG bug. Yeah. And thank God for it, because it's so good. Oh, oh, here. This game. Never had a chance oh. to talk about this one. Oh. Batman on the NES. Like Superman, Batman has had a bad rap of trying to get a good game out there, except this. Well, we're talking about back then. Yeah, back then. Yeah, and there's a lot of good Batman games. Now. Sunsoft, man, they're the same guys that made Blaster Master. They just they were on fire in they those days. They really knew the NES. Yeah. Like like when I first I gotta say when I first started playing Batman, what got me was at the time the level of graphics and detail. It felt yeah. like Gotham. I couldn't so believe good. it. 
you look at it now, you're like, well, that's uh, you know, a pixel pixel game, what whatever. A bunch of pixelated but, mess. But, it, but you have to said at the time, nothing was better than it. Now everybody has a hard time wrapping your fucking heads around. Nothing was better than these games except for arcade games. That's right. But but I couldn't believe how good the graphics were on Batman. And the gameplay was excellent. And I remember watching the character and thinking how smooth the character looked. Yeah. I was like, wow, look at the frames of animation. <laughs> I'm a devil, but it's, it was great. No, but back then it, it was. was. It was unbelievable. It was. And the music yeah. was great. It, the level design was awesome. It was just, this one knocked it out of the park. It is such a classic and it's earned that title. Yeah, I'd love to just talk, do a whole se like, we review. We will. We'll on sit down and game. do this one. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, oh, well oh. it's a daikini baby. <laughs> <laughs> you are great! <laughs> Willow is something I think we'd love to do uh, a, like a, a review on the movie and on some of the games one day because we have a lot to say about Willow. Willow's one of those movies that is bad but it's nostalgic as a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. You can say, and I mean, I'm saying it's got a lot of things that are not great in it, but there's but. a lot. But yeah, it's it's super nostalgic. We we're very fond of it, but uh, it's it is it is what it is. I gotta sit up here. Which my... finger holds the power to control the universe? <laughs> I was going to point at my own finger. Well, that was the correct answer, you dumbass. <laughs> what great great movie. Fun and nostalgic. We've said this a lot of times. So this made by Capcom, yep. uh, an action overhead RPG, really up there is one of the best in the system. I can yeah. say it's like Crystallis and Willow, and the music's yeah. really good. It's it's very good. But I just kind of remember I was, you know, you you play these RPGs and you you want to play as the the cool character, and this one starts and you're like, you start as Willow, this like fat little character with his red hair, and it's not a very good flattering sprite of. Of uh, what's his name? Of uh, Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis. It's not a very not the most flattering appearance they could have given him. No, it's it's really not. You're like, oh, I'm playing as that character. Okay, <laughs> you know where's Mad Mardigan? So, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> Trojan, and we're not talking about the condoms here. We're or talking. Or are we? Or are we? Yeah, every, every Trojan game came with this, you know, extra large condom. Practice in the back. save gaming. Save gaming. <laughs> but this is a game by Capcom. Oh, look at that, we got the Captain Commando mascot on the back. Wow. That's, I, and this was, That's an arcade, this was an arcade game. I remember this era because in the very beginning, the, every Capcom game had the red and blue grid on it like that. Oh, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't uh, Mega Man have that Mega too? Man has yeah, that, that and so did your Section Z right there. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a, I've never really keyed into that until now. Commando had that, the first Commando. Oh, wow, Had sure. that in the background too. That's yeah. cool. What, what are your thoughts of uh, Trojan? The first time I rented it, it confused the ever-loving shit out of me. Why? Because it's pretty straightforward, isn't well, it? Well, except that to jump, you have to push up on the D-pad and the B button is to swing your sword and the A button was to raise your shield. Yeah. And I was used to A jump, B shoot, A jump, B shoot, A yeah. jump, B. So every time I tried to jump, this guy just went ah! with a shield and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? But didn't you get used to it? It did, it's but I did eventually. I did eventually get the through the controls are a little it, spotty. Yeah, the controls they were spotty. spotty. The graphics were amazing. Actually, they were good. If you knew the like, arcade we, game, nice we, big sprites in this. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a good conversion fun. of the arcade game. Yeah, and I remember going to my friend Jeff Curry's place uh, back Jeez. back in the day, and he had this. And I sat on the couch watching him play, and I was like. And he had fucking every game back then. God, there's another one of those. His parents man. divorced, so his dad was just spoiling the fuck out of him. Oh, a little game that. Started it all. Sorry, what was what was this one? Zelda. 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 Bunderer. What? I've never. I, yeah. No, this is such a big game. I think anybody with an NES, we have so many fond memories of the original, and I'm so happy to hear that the new Zelda on the Wii U is going to take a few lessons from this one, a, a, a bit of an open world environment, so you can kind of go can anywhere we, to begin can, with. Can we hope that if there's a flute in it? Use an actual flute. Like the Ocarina of Time was great, but remember that there was a flute before that. Yeah. And it went, doo -doo 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 -doo, and oh, then the yeah. one took it. Okay, so they never just... used that again, did they? Nope. Only in Super Mario Three. The warp whistles in Mario Three played oh. the same tune in the little world. Never in away. any other game. Nope. What? Just that? Oh, jeez. That... Learn something new today. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I'm. I'm. Here we go. Oh, I remember this okay, game. This, okay, so after well. playing Dragon Warrior, 
I go I go into my local Save On Foods and this is behind the glass and I'm like, oh, oh my fucking god, another RPG, yes, yes. And I look at the back and I'm like, it's like Dragon Warrior, fucking yes, yes, yes. I get home, oh, no, 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 no. I oh. fucking hated this game. I rented it and I was so completely disappointed. Highlight was a, such a piece of shit and I don't mind saying it. But you know what? I've got a copy of it too. I even have Super Highlight on the Genesis. I've got Super Highlight as well. <laughs> I got the Japanese version and the American version. I'm because sick. is that fun? Is that great a memory? But it's that it's, it's, like it's, yeah, that we can hate games but have a funny time and want to want to uh, own the game because of that. I'm glad to own this game because it sucks. I rented it like four times too. Like I was a sucker for punishment. So I was like, no, maybe this time I'll get more out of it. Yeah, I know. No, really I know. Do. I kept trying too. You tried so you hard did. to love it. You, you want to enjoy yourself back then? No, I want to have. Look, look the front. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I wanted! I wanted that! Th this was- Rob wanted to be this character. I wanted to be the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. But- fire. Yeah, but yeah, the, th the thing is, is yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me I'm scaly. <sighs> The Magic of Shahrazadi is a game that I haven't played. Yeah, it's a time traveling story. It was a, it was a really good action RPG that Jeez. we I, should. I wish it, I. I think I have this one too, actually now, and I should put it in. It was more my friend Andrew who's playing this that really did well on it, and I okay. wish I got a little bit more uh, out of it back in the day. But I do have a copy. Free up some time. Let's do this one day. Fuck. I know. Maybe we should do a bunch of Let's Plays. What do you guys think? Do you think we should do some Let's Plays sometime? We Let us know. Yeah. We, we could do Let's Plays of stuff like this. That weird stuff. Be, that, be no. used to the fact that there's going to be a lot of swearing and foolishness. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, no swearing on my fucking show. Fuck no, not a million years. Dirty cunt smell fit. Speaking of swearing, <laughs> tombs and treasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my... I, okay. You know what? Rob no, did a review. Okay, hold on. Oh, just, okay. Just, pa just pause the episode, pause it here, and go watch this review, and then come back. I'll wait. This way. We'll wait. Are we still paused? I think we're still paused. No, we're on pause. Okay, we're now. on pause now. Okay, now you know the frustration and the joy of this game. Seriously, it's so nostalgic. So I had no idea what to expect, and I still didn't get what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I, back back in the day, I it wasn't that I didn't like the game. I didn't get the game. Nobody I, got I the didn't game. Didn't understand what to do. I still don't get the game. Yeah, but you finished it, so you get. <laughs> yes. Get a, but so I I went down to to my friend Rob. Hey, you want to buy a video game? Yep. Here you go. Thanks for the money. And I finished it. He did. And then I went back and I said, I don't know what the hell I just did. I'm 12 and I have no idea what this means. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, pff, but I finished it. It's a very unusual game. Watch the review that Rob did. It's very, it's, it's an older review of ours now, but it's, it's still a, a lot of fun. fun. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. All right. You know what? That's a hell of a lot of games to talk about. Yeah. So it's just a quick overview of John's NES collection. Yeah, there's a few. You know, just one or two. I don't. I got a couple of rare ones that I'm going to put into an episode in the future to show. But uh, <clears throat> we always want to come and just talk. Oh, we man. have so many memories of all these old games that we, we got to keep talking because yes. we got so much to tell. You know, we got so much we want to talk about. It's it's it's, it's so, a lot so of fun. Keep an eye out for those because there will be more in depth on each of them. But just a little fun sort of a you know, overview. Wet your whistle. Woohoo! I like my whistle. My my whistle being wetted. <laughs> Anyways, guys, until next time. Never rub another man's rhubarb <laughs> or wet another man's whistle. Ah, oh, fuck! My I can't walk. I my can't legs. feel my legs. I can't feel anything from the knee down. Oh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't Get know out of here.